Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to be trying a meal sent to me from Germany by Silke and her family. These are called hack steaks. Um, basically, it is Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes and peas and corn. That's that's what it translates to. So um, I can't read any of that, so I'm not even going to try. And luckily, she was nice enough. First of all, thank you very much for sending it to me. I really appreciate that because uh, I don't think anybody's ever sent me a meal, a ready meal from another country. But I know that ready meals are, are a little bit harder to come by. So that's different. It's very, by the way, very, very, very heavy. I mean, heavy, heavy. So um, she did give me directions in English. The portion is to 432 calories, which is a lot. Uh, it's higher than what I normally eat, but um, I'll try it out. So you remove from paper packaging, which I did. Remove the film and cover with the microwavable plate. I'll probably just stick a paper plate over top of it. Cook for three to five minutes. Um, hmm. You know what? I may just go ahead and go with five and be done with it. So looks pretty straightforward. So I need to remove the aluminum. Oh, no, I want to put the aluminum on there. It's, it's different. difficulties. I'm assuming you have to get all the aluminum off there because you don't want to put aluminum in your microwave. I tell you what, let me get this off and I'll be back. Alright, here it is once I got the covering off of it. Um, the potatoes look a little interesting, but, but we'll see what they come out with. So I'm going to stick a paper towel underneath of it just in case because it's kind of going to get some liquid on the bottom of it too. It's very, very heavy. Um, yeah. Put some liquid on the bottom. So I'm going to stick a paper plate over top of this and put it in the microwave. Now I'm thinking maybe since it's just really reheating this, I'm thinking maybe more four, I'll try four and a half and, and we'll go from there. So, cause I got a pretty decent microwave. So I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave and um, you can see the meat. There's, I think there's two patties here. Yeah, there's two patties. They're pretty, pretty good size. Um, oops, steam. Ah. Uh, this is peas, carrots, and corn there's also corn in here um i'm more i'm i don't know about this there's like a sauce in here i don't know if it's just the sauce is it's just water that's been colored by the peas and stuff or or flavored sauce i don't i don't just don't know it, it seems good and tender because i like i like tender carrots that's good the potatoes the only problem i see with the potatoes are they're really really thick um i'm gonna have to get in here and stir them up really good but um they look really thick compared to what i'm used to which that's not necessarily a bad thing. They just they need to be stirred up, I think, more than anything. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna stir this up really good, let it cool off a bit. And I'll probably taste the mashed potatoes first since I've got them all over my fork. Um, but I'll be back once it's cooled off a little bit. Okay, I've given it a little time to cool off, and here's the mashed potatoes. They smell like potato. It tastes different than what um, just a mashed potato is here. Um, it's got a little different flavor to it. I don't know. I don't know. It's not bad. It's just a different flavor for me. More for more. Uh, maybe a, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a good way to describe it. A more rustic flavor, if that makes any sense. It's more... Um, like a pure potato flavor, but I don't mind like baked potatoes and stuff. So it's there, maybe there's a seasoning in there that's a little different than ours, or maybe there's a the way it's cooked or something. I'm I'm not sure. It's it's not like I said. It's not bad. It's just um, it's just different. I don't taste any butter. There's no salt really. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell. I don't think I'd be able to tell what the sodium was. Maybe salz S A L Z. I don't know. Six point two grams. I, I don't know. have no clue. Anyway, it doesn't matter ultimately. Um, I don't taste any salt and pepper in the potatoes. It also has a little bit of different flavor than just a regular mashed potato here, but a plain mashed potato, but who, who knows? Um, here's a Salisbury steak. It looks like a solid piece of meat. I mean, it may, it may be uh, like a ground pressed meat, but it almost looks like a, you know, like a solid piece of meat. No, it's more like a meatloaf. Mm, that's actually really good. Again, there's not a ton of um, what I'd consider like saltiness over here. You get a lot of salt in our foods. Um, that's actually really good. It's very, uh, 
again, it's more rustic flavor to me. It's more of the meat flavor to me. Overall, I like that. It's really good. Um, let me try the vegetables. And like I said, there was there was a lot of liquid in these vegetables when I first put them in there. So I don't know if there was a sauce or if that was just the water they were cooked in. Let, let's see. No, that's just regular peas and carrots and corn. Um, I like those because the carrots are actually cooked really well. They're, they're really soft and squishy. So um, you don't get that crunch. I really don't like crunchy carrots. I know that's weird. I just don't. The peas taste really good too. Let me try the mashed potatoes in with a little bit of the gravy on it. Dip it in gravy. I like that better, but I, I have to say I like the vegetables. I like the Salisbury steak. The mashed potatoes are a little strange for me. I could eat them, but but they are a little different. Um, they taste better with the gravy on them to me. But um, but there is definitely a they definitely taste different. And I cannot identify what the difference is. But like I said, dip them in gravy. They taste they taste pretty good. So overall, I've really enjoyed this meal. Um, I will I will definitely eat the meat patties and the vegetables. I'm not quite sure about the mashed potatoes. I may may or may not eat those. Um, but I really, really appreciate you sending them to me. I love trying different things from different countries. It's interesting. Um, I'm afraid of some of it. I'm not that adventurous of an eater, but, but I, I'm willing to try pretty much anything as long as it's not completely over the top. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.